Hi, this is Mike Wallach with Trimec, and I've got a draft site tip for you today about blocks and working with layers. So here I have some blocks, uh, five of them, for a floor plan, and they are on my appliances layer. So I can select all of these and look over in the property manager and see they are on the appliances layer, and they all have their color set to by layer. Okay, that means that whatever color the layer has, the entity is supposed to take on that layer. Okay, so that is what's happening here. You can see that the appliances layer has this greenish color assigned to it, and that's what they all look like. So let's test this behavior by selecting them all again and changing them to the plumbing layer, which has this bluish color. Okay, and now we see that all of them have changed color except for the range here and for the text in the hot water heater. It's showing up yellow like it was before. So uh, what's going on here? There's something different with these two blocks, okay? So one thing we could do in order to try and figure out what's different between these blocks and the others, you know, why are they taking on the color that's uh, assigned by the layer, but these are not, is we can just edit the blocks. So I'm going to edit this one just by double clicking on it and I'll go into the edit block mode and you can see we've got all of these entities here. I'll just select them all and see they are all on layer zero. Okay. And their color is set to by layer. Right. Now I'm going to exit edit block mode and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Double click on that block and now we can see there is a difference. These entities, all of them are on the appliances layer already before they become a block. Now their color is assigned to by layer, but they've already had a layer assigned, or they've already had the appliances layer assigned to them, whereas the other one was layer zero. Okay, let's make this a little more obvious as far as the differences here. I'm going to go ahead and explode all of these objects. I'm just going to uh, select them and explode and break them up into their constituent entities. So they are no longer blocks, they are individual entities. And here's the difference. These four blocks are all on layer zero. All of their entities are on layer zero. Whereas this one, its entities are all on the appliances layer. And this one the outer circle is on layer zero. The text is on the text layer, which has this yellow color assigned. Okay. Layer zero is like your transparent layer. When you create a block, if the entities are on layer zero, then later when that block is assigned to another layer, those entities that are on layer zero will take on whatever color the blocks layer is. But if those entities already have some other layer or color assigned, then that will function as an override and they will keep that setting. So in the case of the range, no matter what layer I put that block on, it's always going to appear as if it's on the appliances layer. And with the hot water heater, no matter what layer I put it on, the text is always going to appear as if it's on the text layer, regardless of what layer I put the block on. So that's the, the main takeaway. If you want your blocks to be flexible in their appearance, use layer zero. And uh, let's take a look at one other thing. So let me undo the explosion here so they're all blocks again. And I'm going to change them to the phantom layer, which has a different line type setting. And once again, notice that the line type for the entities that were set to layer zero adapts to match the setting for the block. But the range, its line type doesn't adapt. So if you want that adaptivity for both the color and the line type, use layer zero when you create your blocks. Okay, that's all for today. 